I'm shaking Dev. <coughs> I'm taking screenshots because I don't want screenshots of my base. So I'm making it look pretty. How you doing, man? Do you have a good holiday or anything? If you celebrate anything. I don't know if you celebrate anything. I just feel like it's polite to ask. Yeah, it's, it's nothing big. It's just a lot of glass. Yeah. Yeah, me too. I celebrated it while being, you know, at work. That was my celebration. Yeah, I think we're going to wrap this one up today. Um, I've essentially done all of the quests, chapters-wise, anyways. Um, I didn't do all of this one because I didn't, you know... I have no need for a fusion core or you know, a fusion generator, whatever. Uh, this one, I don't even know what these things are. <laughs> I don't know what this is. What's an idle labor? I have no idea what this is. Uh, but it just gives me XP. I don't really need XP. I liked it. Uh, considering I played it from, like, essentially was like an alpha stage, uh, you know, it's had its ups and downs, obviously, but, uh, you know, glitches and whatnots. Uh, it's got one of my favorite mods of, like, all time, uh, which is now called L Chemistry, but, you know, Minecamp was, like, one of my favorite mods of all time. So I really liked it. Uh... Things are still doing some weird stuff. What's shaking, your? How you doing? Uh, I forgot I have no cursor. Um, let me see if I can get this 64K. I made this 64K thing. Oh, there it goes. It finally came out. It wouldn't let me have it. <laughs> it just wouldn't let me have it. It was like, no. You can't have it. Uh, let's see. What other pictures can I take here? Let's take like a picture this way. Uh, maybe like this. I already kind of did that way. Uh, but yeah, anyways, uh, no, I liked it. I, I, I don't, I kind of don't want to stop playing it, only because there's no other pack that I want to play right now. Uh, Pixel is still working on his new pack. And uh, I, it's not out yet. He hasn't released yet, so I don't know who he's got testing or whatever. But it's, he hasn't put it out yet, so I can't play that yet. Uh, I, I'm, I'm enjoying coming up with random little things to like ways to automate things. But like I was saying, the next the next chapter is just this. I don't want to do singularities. <laughs> I don't want to do singularities, so I'm not going to. Uh, let's see. I don't know, maybe we'll get like a close up or something. I don't know. Look, this is all of the. These are all of the uh, combiners you need to make. That's just some of the combiners you'll want to make. Probably should have made more. That's cool. Do it. Um, I don't know why, but I have like this really bad uh, inventory lag. Like I don't, I don't know why. I just do. It won't go away. It's only in that inventory. Like if I use a crap, go away. Give me my, give me my pictures back here. If I use this one, it's fine. This one's fine, but if I if I just use this one, everything's all over the place. I don't know what that's up. What, what's up with that? <clears throat> yeah. So I just started the. Uh, yeah, it's weird. I don't know. So I just started this whole thing. These neutron collectors. The, the the quest is for four of them. I've managed to make two of them. I could probably make the other two. If I really wanted to. I have enough diamonds now. I had a, I had a separately. I was just using carbon in the system to make diamonds, but it, it takes. 
500 some odd carbon to make one diamond and this the recipe for those neutronium collectors requires like 20 diamonds and that was way more carbon than I ever had in my system at any time so I just set up this this system which is just making diamonds on its own separate from whatever's going on over there so yeah so that's helped I let it run overnight and got up to like 350 some odd diamonds so I could probably make these neutron things probably make the other two neutron things This is because of the, uh, where is it? There it is. Yeah, there you go. Easy. It was easy, right? That was easy. There's one. Give me another one. I'm not gonna lie, this, uh, Refined storage does some weird things sometimes. Like it was, it was calling for things in certain situations that I didn't even, I didn't even like have. Like I didn't even have recipes for it there, and it was asking for like it to make something. I was like, why is it asking for that? And I'd like go through JEI and like for some reason one of the recipes kept calling for a uh, uh, dandelion yellow, and so I'd go look for like dandelion yellow, and I was like, why? I'm like, why do I need dandelion? Okay, it makes lead iodide. But I don't need lead or iodide for anything in this recipe. I'm like, why is it asking for this? But it was. I don't know why. <laughs> so I took the recipes for lead iodide, uh, for, you know, that out of the system. And it stopped asking for it. But it was still making it. So I don't know. It was just weird. It was doing weird things. Uh, hey, you might know this. That's not the button I wanted to hit. Um, you might know this. What What is, I'm assuming it's probably a refined, or not refined, it's origin, uh, A2 thing. Um, what is it? Is it, is, it the, is it a mod that's separate or is it A2? When I'm doing like, okay, I saw this on one of Dire Wolves from Enigmatic 2 uh, playthroughs. Uh, when I am, say, doing a recipe, like I want to make like an auto recipe. She's like, I'm gonna turn that back on. Um, and I need something that I don't have made. I saw him drag it from JI into the crafting table. It didn't give it to him, but like he used it to make a recipe for something that he just didn't have. Is that is that an AE2 thing or is that uh, or is that like some other mod that lets you do that? Because I didn't find like any kind of key bind for that or anything like that. Yeah, I don't know either. But it was pretty handy looking, and I was hoping uh, all mods could do that. With liquids, yeah. Yeah, because I've, I've, I've been watching him do that on, on the uh, in America 2 uh, playthrough, and I was like, I want to be able to do that as well. Um, some of the issues I'd been having, okay, well, like, this thing, this thing gets all sorts of things, which is fine. Um, but when it picks up, like, I kill a skeleton, like, every so often, I don't, I'm, I'm guessing that's what that is, I get a bone and a, and a skull every so often. I've been getting stacks and stacks and stacks of copper and stuff, but I'm only getting like two diamonds. Uh, I destroyed a jungle tree apparently. I must be in a jungle because I'm getting jungle saplings, huh? Yeah, jungle. Um, not not a good source of diamonds, this thing. I'll tell you that much. Um, a really good source for the uh, nuclear uh, craft ores, which uh, I didn't really have much use for. As far as, okay, so I originally, my original setup obviously was like, I had like a dozen, no, what was it? It was like five, nine, 13, 
I think it was like 18 I had uh, numismatic uh, dynamos, right? And I had a bunch of uh, things right here uh, pumping out double compressed cobblestone and then breaking it down using the iron, the gold, and the aluminum to make coins from two compressors and sending it into all those things, right? It was plenty enough to run my system, uh, to run this system and my machines and these things. But when I, obviously when I started hooking this up, it was not enough. So I was like, screw it, I'll, I'll build a nuclear reactor, right? Because I know that can... I looked up a video and I found like a heat neutral uh, system uh, setup that uh, would give me 2600 RF a tick. And that was plenty to run um, the... whatchamacallits? The, uh, these things these things this and this this is like 2000 something because down here I'm running the uh, I got the wither one down here that's giving me nether stars the power of the nether star gens so that's like 2000 for that and this is I don't know how much I, uh, there it is 256 hour for tick for that one and then this one is two I took it out but it's like 2000 this one's 20 300 I think and this one's 20 like just 2000 something like that I think but uh it wasn't enough to power all that so I'm like okay uh chalky uh demod learning is okay-ish um I couldn't find an end city so I couldn't get any shulkers so I couldn't kill shulkers over and over and over again uh to get a data module I just couldn't find an end city um but that would have gotten me diamonds, and diamonds wouldn't have been an issue. I could have just set up another system like this. Um, Chalky was talking about how uh, Nether Stars, uh, it's basically infinite energy, because once you get up to, once you get past like advanced, your your chances of getting a pristine are really good, and you get three each time, and that's plenty to run those machines and everything else. Uh, but as far as like uh, a way to get loot, these machines are super expensive, of course, uh, not expensive, I should say, uh, super uh, energy eaters, like they eat a ton of energy. Um, and even at self-aware, it's still less than half of a percent chance uh, of getting anything. Uh, but that being said, at this in, in this setup, though, this is great. I mean, I'd rather get I'd rather get nether stars like this than having to build some kind of spawning mechanism and and killing them and et cetera, et cetera. Uh, <clears throat> comparing it to Woot, I think other than the fact that Woot has all those crazy multi-block structures, uh, I almost prefer Woot the way that they do it, but I like how this is kind of like, you get, you know, you can add things to it that'll get you like, uh, be it, like they have upgrades. These these things have no upgrades other than the fact that you just have to wait till it gets up to this point, and then once it gets to this point, that's all you get. Uh, it also gives you a byproduct that I have not used a single one of. Um, that doesn't mean you can't find a use for it, but uh, like the uh, what is it? The uh, matter. It's matter. Yeah. Caps lock for the win. Um, these things. The overworld, the invented, the hellish matter. I'm getting like super lag right now. The world's getting a little laggy. Thank you. But yeah. Anyways, I I, I kind of prefer the way Woot does things, but I like this system because it's nice and compact and and it it's easily handled. I guess is the best way to put it. You're not making, you don't have to make like a hundred different blocks just to go to the next level kind of thing. Um, everything's kind of contained in two machines and that's it. Although, you do get stuck with like, if this was the only way of getting certain things, it would be obnoxious because you'd have to have a lot of those machines. Or a way of switching them in and out. I don't even think you could switch them in and out. There's also a bug that if you hit the thing with the uh, with the wrench, it eats your data module, which sucks. So I had to go make a new one for the Ender Dragon. 
but yeah, I think I prefer deep mob learning over Woot. But I do like the way Woot did things in certain situations better than the way this does it. Uh, yeah. I lost my train of thought. I was going to talk about something. Oh, I learned how to do. Ref uh, I learned how to do these things. This was kind of cool. I ended up with a world. Uh, I'd like never actually done this before, like fully on my own by myself. So it was kind of cool. I ended up with a world uh, that's uh, got liquid glass on it, but it has all the biomes. So I was able to get the quarry with the snow globe. You know, I had to go to all the different biomes. I managed to get that far. But yeah, that's molten glass. It's kind of cool. Hey, buddy. Yeah, things are getting a little laggy. I don't know if that's pack related or if it's a if it's a certain mod. I've been super laggy uh, in certain situations for a while now. I just think it has a lot to do with just what I've built, <laughs> honestly. I would have liked to have gotten into wireless uh, power. Uh, transmission but uh i like i don't need it now <laughs> now that i have the power to transmit i don't need to know because like i built this thing and i used it to power uh my ender dragon one so i could get more uh draconium to build those that stuff um the problem was i was using uh this fuel which required uranium and this thing was only making so much uranium. I was only getting like one every so often. RF tools, yeah. You think you think it's RF tools causing all of my lag issues? Like this world, this world's okay. It's my inventory. I'm sorry, it's my inventory that's super laggy. And then when I go into that dimension, uh, it gets pretty laggy. But going into this dimension, I could understand because it would probably be, you know, obviously because of this mod. Um, but I don't get the uh, inventory lag. I just assumed the inventory lag was caused because of it was weird. The last update he had, I loaded in and I was like, oh shit, my uh, my lag's gone. My inventory lag's gone. Oh yeah, I, yeah, I definitely unload it. Yeah, I just forgot. Um, but uh. It was like, uh, it was like fixed for like, I don't know, I played for like a half an hour and everything was fine. I was like, oh, I don't know what you did, but you fixed it. And then, it was back. And I was like, ah, oh, son of a bitch. So, I don't know, it was weird. It was gone for like a half an hour and then it came back. Uh, the autumn was cool. Autumn's cool. It reminded me of like a, of a, a Dark Coast of like, mod pack. Just mods, or mobs coming at you from everywhere. Um generally not very useful for all the uh stuff you can get but um i did i did like the uh i did like the uh helmet the helmet and the uh necklace this one for regen um was good and the uh the one that keeps you alive this one if you die you get to keep all your stuff that one saved my life a few times um but the weapons and stuff, eh, pretty much useless. Uh, you can kind of cheese the boss fights, so that was okay. Uh, it was cool going to the autumn, though, because I, I haven't ever been to the autumn. Uh, not much need for animals in this pack. Uh, I found some chickens in the autumn, so I captured them. Um, I got flight pretty early on, because he didn't do anything to change that process, so it was just a matter of uh, you know gathering the resources for the for the the ring. Let's see. Um, and then I got the dragon armor 
from killing all the Ender Dragons. So that just gives me flight anyways. And all these buffs. <clears throat> Once you get to a certain point, like, you don't even need to use the Tinker's Smeltery at all. Like, I didn't use this thing at all. I, I've seen what Chalky was doing. Chalky was pouring his gears. I decided to do Compactor. Um, I don't know if that's easier or not or whatever, but that's what he was doing. Uh, all the growth crystals that you get as quest rewards, those are pretty handy. Um, there's carrot power, obviously. Um, I didn't really need to use this overworld teleporter because you got a slash home that you can use. Uh, what else? All my tools are like unbreakable and things, so that wasn't ever an issue really. Like you got that done pretty much instantly. He gives you plenty, plenty of ways of getting obsidian early on. Um, with obsidian breakers, uh, like you get these things too. That I only used like maybe twice, I think. But that helps you get obsidian as well. I got a ton of these things: ender chests, block breakers, player chests, because of uh, just from quest rewards. Um, but yeah. But I used this thing for about an hour, and then I just stopped. It took me, it took me forever to craft all this crap and get all the materials and stuff that I needed and everything. And then I used it for like an hour and just stopped using it. Um, like these things are all empty. Um, these are now just running off of the uh, the three Nether Star generators. They're slow, but you only really have to do uh, like quest-wise. You don't have to. Uh, you don't have to do anything, really. Like, you need to set it up. Like, I did it to get to the table, and then you need the table. Was it? It's a, comp a compressor? Yeah, you don't even need the compressor to use it. Like, all you need is a... Unless it's a singularity. Draconium have a singularity that, that he wants us to make? No. What about Awakened Draconium? No singularities for that either. So you kind of, I mean, unless you want to use it for like wireless power or something, you're, you're basically just making, you're doing Draconic Evolution just to get to this point, just to get to the, the your crafting table. Like, that's it. Which is weird. Uh, this is my mob spawner in here. The blaze spawner. That was good to get. Let you can uh, silk touch spawners. This is a uh, cursor that I was just pushing into the same chamber. Collecting the uh, XP from over there. Uh, mending books are, are good to have. It's making mending books. My dimlets that I never used. Uh, getting the uh, shards, the dimensional shards, was a pain in the ass. Because you had to actually go and find them. So getting a dimension that had them. Because the first couple dimensions I made uh, were just like random ones and ones that I just kind of thrown together. Uh, just didn't have any. None that I could find, anyways. One was all, what was it? It was all Jungo, Jungo, Jungle? No, it was Acacia. <laughs> all, the, all the land was Acacia wood. Another one was all dirt. Uh, I, managed, I managed to make one that didn't have Wither 3 as an effect, so that was good. Um, that let me find some other, some of the other dimlets that, uh, the cr pre created ones. You know, the ones where I could get, like, uh, just, like, a normal, like, default. I found a default, I think is what it was. Yeah, the terrain was, like, default. Material was, like, default, I think. So I managed to find some default ones. And that got me, like, a normal world. Um, loot boxes are annoying as hell. Uh, I have so, I had so many of them from just running that mob spawner. 
And I was like auto opening them. I have so many freaking dimlets. Look at them all. 1.8 thousand. And this is what, 9... 656 of those other ones and I'm just not going to open. I think those are the ones that get... Uh, these ones? These ones are fine because at least they give you chemicals, but you don't really use any of the chemicals after like halfway through the pack. Uh, but it gets you antimatter and antimatter helps and eventually you don't need to use antimatter at all because everything you get you can just make in these things. Generally you can just make stuff in these things. Like, I'm making nickel right now for some reason. Why am I making nickel? What do I need nickel for? Oh. Another quartz. Okay. But yeah, the, uh... The fusion controller and the fission controllers are pretty good. Fusion and fission. Uh, fission I don't use so much, but the fusion you definitely want to use. Uh, the pack is a little... I think it could use a little bit of tweaking. Uh, mainly because I was... I was getting nether stars from killing withers before I... even finished the quest to get to the nether stars. Like, you have to get this, 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 this. You have to get these four chemicals. And then you, you know, put them together and make the nether star. I had the nether star before I even got, I think, to this one. And I used the nether star to make, to make this thing, which then got me the chemical that I needed <laughs> for this, for this quest, which was... I, I, I think I think that might have been something you should address. Like I was able to get another star just from killing the wither, and he's got mob griefing turned off on default. So like I went out here and I made all of these freaking blocks, and uh, made all these witherproof blocks. I didn't even freaking need them, but whatever. <clears throat> uh, a little note. Okay, good. I have to sign for it. Great. Um, a little note, when you're running these trials, uh, if you get one that says um, Thunderdome, I think it's called, uh, it's going to rain. So if all of a sudden you run a trial and it starts raining, that's because of Thunderdome. Uh, it won't stop raining as far as I know. Even when the trial's done, uh, it just rained and rained and rained. And sleeping didn't stop it because you can't sleep because it's daytime all the time. Um, so yeah, I think this is the first pack I've I've played all the way through that I did make a bed. <laughs> I have no bed for this pack. Um, so you kind of just have to cheese ball it. I just I just turned it off like this because <laughs> it it wasn't stopping and I didn't know if it was going to stop. But yeah, I can dig it. <clears throat> I need another pack. I need to start looking for other packs. Anybody, get any, anybody know any little packs that uh, have you know gotten a hundred thousand downloads yet? And every streamer on freaking Twitch is playing. I want to play Pixels, but I don't know when this is coming out. That thing has like a, yeah, that thing has like a rain uh, weather thing, doesn't it? No, I said a pack that doesn't have hundreds of thousands of downloads and everybody and their grandma's playing. Plus that's got freaking Greg Tech in it, ew. Yeah. I know, because it's boring. <laughs> well, not boring. Um, I think it's just people don't like like the early game. I don't know. I'm just talking shit. I don't know what I'm talking about. How you doing, Herja? 
But yeah. So unfortunately, I think I'm done with this pack. Did a good job, Al. Really, that's the timeline that they're they're looking at? 500 hours? Jesus. I mean, I played this one for six days. That's what? That's... I don't know. That's 500 divided by 24. Twenty? Third. Like 20 days? Yeah, Jesus. That's a good amount. I'm curious, like, okay, because, like, Dire Wolf just hit, like, episode 121 or something of his, uh, Enigmatica playthrough. I wonder how many days he's played for. So I'm going to ask Pixel when his, uh, when his pack is going to be ready. I want to play it. Because it's, like, vanilla, vanilla plus... I still got Floromancer. One? Oh god, that pack. No god, no, that pack was, was janky. He does do a lot of things off camera. He doesn't even build his own bases. He has people send it to him. He just clicks a button and builds it. Which is cool and all of that. Like, even his 9x9s are... He doesn't even do his 9x9s anymore. He has other people build bases for him. Sorry, I was just scanning, uh... Scanning, uh... Whatchamacallit. The fudge pack. <laughs> Authentic World War Two mod pack. Sweet. Here's one. Yeah, I pop in there every so often and look at some of the packs, um, but they're all really like, like every time somebody new shows up, I get I get that you know I get the notification, but it's like, it's still new. <laughs> yeah, I don't like kitchen sink. I want like, I want creative, creative.
creativity. I'm going to download this one. It's called Trial of God. <laughs> it's the first one on the list. It says it's based around ultimate alchemy. Well, it, it's derived from like that, that setup. With more magic than that one. So I'm guessing... Yeah, Batania, yeah. Evil craft, that's cool. <coughs> yeah, uh, your if you, uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing your name right. It just looks like York to me, so I'm going to keep saying it like that. I'm sorry. Um, if you want me to pronounce it differently, please let me know. Uh, if you're not familiar with the way I do things around here, I usually do everything the hard way first. And then after that, I... Uh, somebody in chat goes, no, you should do it this way. And I go, oh, okay. Um, but as far as like things that I play, like packs that I play, I like to play obscure things. I like to play things that... If it's got over a thousand downloads already, I don't, I'm not interested in it. Um, if everybody on YouTube and Twitch is playing it, I don't care about it. Um, I want like obscure, I want different, I want... I'm shaking Justin. How you been? Uh, so the, the, like... I like the packs that nobody's like playing that like Maybe just because they're not like big famous names or something. Yeah, no, no shit, man. How you been? How's things? Alright, we're gonna load up Trial of God and see what happens. I'm gonna start and stop the stream real quick so don't go anywhere. Just so I can break this one up. Alright, I'll be right back. <coughs> 